Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the housing from the rear handle. Next, I'll remove the brushes from the housing to pull them away from the armature. Next, I'll separate the gearbox from the motor housing. With the two halves of the tool separated, I'll pull the armature away from the gearbox. With the armature removed, now I'll remove the rubber ring. Now I can remove the commutator and bearing. I'll use a bearing separator, place it over the bearing, and then place the separator over the jaws of my vise. I use a socket, in this case a small hex socket, to tap the armature away from the bearing. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place the bearing over the armature shaft, and I'll use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner bearing race to tap the bearing onto the shaft. And now I can replace the rubber ring. Now I can reinstall the armature. I'll place it into the gearbox and seat the bearing. Now I can reconnect the gearbox and armature assembly back to the motor housing. And I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the brushes. I'll make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way and then I can reinstall the housing. And that's how you can install a new ball bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.